About 1,000 illegal refining camps across the Niger Delta have been demobilized by the Nigerian military in the past three months. The commander of the Joint Task Force, Operation Delta Chief, Rear Admiral Amin Hassan, stated this when the European Union delegation visited the region on a fact-finding mission to ascertain the federal government's commitment to the fight against illegal refining of petroleum product and other harmful environmental practices. Our correspondent, Jesse S.A. has more. This illegal oil refining camp located somewhere around our other west local government area of River State is one of the many sites visited by the European Union from Brussels after it was demobilized by the OPDS. They are accompanied by NNPC officials in this risky adventure into the den of oil thieves, a step taken to rekindle the EU's trust in the Nigerian government in the ongoing war against illegal refining. These ovens, completely destroyed by the JTF, are being evacuated. This is aimed at stopping illegal operators from gaining access and reconstructing them again. In one site, you can get 50 to 100 units. Everybody operating is just like a market. They are very fast in constructing distance. So if you really want to succeed, you have to be faster than them. You have to work ahead of them. And that is why the introduction of this equipment so that we'll be on top of the situation, so that we'll be ahead of them. To a greater extent, we are getting support from the communities. And I want to use the oppo this opportunity to urge them to please continue. In line with the unbundling of the NNPC, there are high expectations that more illegal refining camps will be closed to boost the nation's oil production output. We are here with our... Uh, development partners to see how much work is going on, how we can also be of assistance and support to this and endeavor so that ultimately we can restore sanity in this environment, we can restore oil production in our country. We thank our troops most sincerely and we thank them for the great work they are doing and they will continue to work for us. And ultimately, and we believe that by August, we will be able to bring down this menace to a level that we can say is hurrah, we are done. And, and definitely that this will be sustained. The European Union assures the federal government of its support in tackling illegal bunkering. Clearly some of this production is used for local markets. Some of this is going into international markets, which is clearly a problem. And we'll be discussing with the Nigerian authorities to find the most and the most appropriate response to tackle the problem. Clearly we have a very serious problem here, which has merited a very serious and strong response. And I really want to thank the Nigerian army and navy led by uh, Rear Admiral Hassan and the group uh, chief executive of NPCC for the tremendous work that's being done to restore the confidence in the Nigerian oil and gas uh, sector this way. Jesse, you see, plus TV news. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.